<clears throat> okay, let's solve number 7. A 10 cm new steel pipe carries 10 and then 16, I should say, liters per second of heavy fuel oil at temperature of 27 degrees Celsius. Uh, determine the pipe friction loss for 1600 meters long pipe. Kinematic viscosity of oil at 27 degrees Celsius is equal to 1.06 times 10 raised to negative 4 square meter per uh, second. Okay. So, how do you solve for the um, friction loss of this particular pipe? No. Uh, you know, when given you F, N, or C sub 1, so we don't know how to, uh, how, how, which formula to be used no, to solve for this particular problem. But usually, pag mga ganitong uh, problems, uh, we oftentimes uh, use the Darcy Weisbach formula because yun yun yung may provision na yun yung may provision uh, to solve for the friction loss in terms of the Reynolds number. So, pag given kasi itong kinematic viscosity natin, then we can, and then yung velocity and other uh, other uh, details ng pipe, then we can solve for the Reynolds number. And uh, Darcy Weiss back uh, formula provides a, a way to solve for friction factor in terms of the Reynolds number. Ano. So, let's first solve, for most probably this problem is uh, solved using the um, Darcy Weisbach formula. So, first we need to solve for the Reynolds number. So, you remember in uh, our first discussion, uh, I have mentioned na uh, kapag laminar flow, we can solve for the friction factor using this particular formula. Kapag turbulent flow, um, if the Reynolds number is between 5,000 to 10,000, then we can use uh, 3,000 to, to 10,000, we can use this particular formula to solve for the friction factor. So, uh, first, let's, uh, let us solve for the uh, friction factor, uh, I mean the Reynolds number. Okay, and identify whether the flow is laminar or uh, turbulent. So, since the given quantity is the kinematic viscosity, then we can uh, solve for the Reynolds number. Uh, we can use the formula in terms of the kinematic viscosity. Okay. So the velocity, uh, hindi pala given yung velocity. So muna natin yung velocity. So it's equal to Q all over area. That is the diameter is uh, 10 centimeters. The discharge is 16 liters per second. You convert natin sa cubic meters per second. So that's equal to 0 0.016 cubic meters per second. We divide by the area of the pipe. That is 0 point, <clears throat> sorry, 5 times 0 0.1 all over 4. So the velocity is equal to 2.0372 meters per uh, second. So we can now solve for the Reynolds number that is equivalent to 2.0372 meters per second times the diameter 0 0.1 meters divided by the kinematic viscosity that is 1.06 times 10 raised to negative 4 square meter per second. So the Reynolds number is 1,921.871. So 1,921, that should be 21.871, okay? So is it laminar or turbulent? So obviously, this the flow is laminar since the Reynolds number is less than... 2000. Okay. If that is the case, uh, we can solve for the friction factor. You see the formula I have identified before. That is, if the flow is laminar, the friction factor is equal to 64 divided by the Reynolds number. That is if the flow is laminar. So there's also an equivalent uh, formula to solve for the friction factor if the flow is turbulent. Uh, if the Reynolds number is from 3,000 to 10,000. 
So in this case, the flow is laminar. So we solve the friction factor using this formula. So we have 64 divided by 192, sorry, 1921.871. So we have a friction factor of 0 0.033. Okay, and if we know the friction factor, then we can definitely solve for the head loss due to uh, friction. So using the Darcy waste back uh, formula. So we have okay. Our friction factor is point zero three three three. The length of the pipe is. Yung length nito, uh, 1,600. The discharge should be in cubic meters per second. So we have 0 0.016 squared over d raised to 5. Uh, diameter is 10 centimeters, so 0.1 of a meter raised to 5. So the head loss is equal to 1112.661 one, one meters. So that's the uh, loss of energy due to friction. Okay. Mm, that's it. Okay, let's continue with the last problem, uh, the eighth problem. Okay. <clears throat> uh, now, the eighth problem involves some uh, computations of minor losses due to some obstructions and other um, uh, parts of the piping systems that would somehow change the velocity or direction of the flow. So, water is pumped between two reservoirs. We have lower so of course it is pumped from a lower to upper reservoir okay at uh, 0.2 cubic feet per second through through 400 feet of two inches diameter pipe and uh, several minor losses as shown in the figure below considering minor losses compute the pump horsepower required so the friction factor f is given that is 0 0.0216 Friction factor natin. So, yung mga minor losses natin. We have the minor loss due to the sharp entrance here. Uh, I, by the way, yung mga values of K. K is the modification factor. That's, that's what we multiply to the velocity head to compute for the uh, equivalent minor loss of each of the uh, items here. Yung mga nagkakos ng minor losses. So, we have the sharp entrance. K is uh, 0.5. And then, <clears throat> we also have the open globe valve here. Uh, open globe valve has uh, medyo mataas yung uh, uh, factor niya, it's 6.9. And then, yung pump, meron tayong pump in between the two reservoirs. Saan uh, <clears throat> yung, hindi ko tinilagay yung pump. Ah, uh, meron, meron. Meron dun sa may, uh, uh, module <laughs> and then we also have the 12 inches uh, band radius natin. so my corresponding value of k ito that is nasan yun? Uh, 0.15 yung uh, value ng k and then we also have a 90 degree elbow uh, degree elbow natin is 0.95 yung value ng K half closed na gate valve so take note half closed ito that's why medyo malaki yung uh, factor K natin is 2.7 so magkakaiba ito kung half closed kung fully open yung valve or uh, one third yung open so depende may corresponding value ng K I think I have uh, included that in your modules merong uh, figures or tables doon uh, for each situation, merong corresponding value ng K. And then lastly, we have the um, sharp exit. 
to the second or upper uh, arrestor ba. So, may corresponding value ng uh, k din nito that is equivalent to 1. Okay. Good. Okay, so first, uh, I think we need to solve muna para mas madaling uh, uh, pag-solve natin. I think it would be more uh, uh, appropriate if we solve for the total minor losses na lang. Total minor losses contributed by each of these uh, obstructions or uh, contributors sa may uh, minor loss. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. So, yung uh, sa may module, I think uh, tinabulate ko na lang yung mga values ng minor losses. But first, uh, we need to solve for the velocity. Since these minor losses are in terms of the velocity head, we need to solve for the velocity muna and then uh, solve for the corresponding minor losses. No? So, for, uh, solve for the velocity. So, the velocity, I think na... So, discharge is 0 0.2 cubic uh, feet per second divided by the cross-sectional area of the pipe. So, the, the yung, yung pipe natin, yung cross-section niya is constant all throughout the system. So, we have the diameter of the pipe is 2 inches. So, we convert natin's uh, feet. So, we divide it by 12 squared over 4. So, the velocity is equal to we have 9.167 uh, feet per second is the velocity okay next is to solve for each um, minor loss so let's start with the sharp entrance uh, let's say that is HM1 na lang so the sharp entrance we have that K for sharp entrance is 0.5, so 0.5 times V squared all over 2G. So I've told you before that the minor losses are always so solved in terms of the velocity head. So we have uh, velocity is 9.167. Squared. So HM1, that is due to sharp entrance, is equivalent to 0 0.6524 feet. So that is the head loss at the sharp entrance. And then we also solve the succeeding minor losses using the same uh, principle here. So we have, let's say, HM2, yung open globe valve. Uh, open globe valve has a K that is equivalent to 6.9 times the velocity head. So HM2 is equal to 9.0036 feet. Next, HM3 HM3 natin is the bend yung bend uh, K is 0 0.15 so the minor loss due to the 12 inch radius bend is equal to 0 0.15 0.1957 feet. Next, HM4. HM4 is the minor loss due to the 90 degree elbow with a K equivalent to 0 The minor loss due to the elbow is um, 1.23926. And ano pa? 
Okay, minor loss due to, ha due to the half closed gate valve. Let's say that is HM5. Uh, K is 2.7. So HM5 is equal to uh, 3.5 to 32 feet. And then lastly, minor loss due to the sharp exit. Let's say HM6. Uh, K is 1. So the minor loss due to the due to the due to the sharp exit is one point three zero four nine feet. Okay, and then you uh, take the total of all these minor losses. So the total minor losses then, let's say HM. So add nyo lang lahat to. <laughs> It's equivalent to fifteen. Point nine one nine four feet. So that's the total minor loss. And please take note of this uh, total minor loss. We are going to include this later on in our equation, energy equation, to solve for the uh, horsepower in the pump. Okay. So we erase mo na itong nasolve natin na ito. and let's proceed solving for the horsepower in the pump. Okay, let's continue. So we're done with the total minor loss that is 15.9194 feet. Now, let's also solve for the loss due to friction, HF. Since the given value is the friction factor, then we are going to solve for the head loss due to friction uh, using the Darcy Ways back formula. For the general formula, yung kasing uh, in terms of discharge na pinisend ko before was it was uh, intended for uh, SI units. But since this is in English, so we can use the general formula to solve for the head loss due to friction. So general formula is so we have FL over D times V squared all over uh, 2G. So HF then is equal to F is 0 for uh, 0 0.0216 <clears throat> times the length which is 400 feet again this length should be in feet divided by the diameter the given diameter is 2 inches so we convert that to an equivalent value in feet so we divide it by 12 then v squared all over 2g we have saw v before uh, v is 9.167 feet per second squared divided by 2 times 32.2 feet per second uh, squared. So the, the head loss due to friction is 67.6447 feet. So head loss due to friction. So we're done solving the head loss due to minor losses and the uh, head loss due to friction. Now we can now apply the energy equa equation to solve for the horsepower in the pump. So apply natin. So where would we put the two points? Again, uh, the two points would be uh, located where uh, our goal is to minimize the number of unknowns in the equation. So we, we put our first point dito sa my uh, the surface um, uh, first reservoir, lower reservoir and then the second point would be at the water surface at the upper reservoir so in that, look, in those locations the pressure is zero, the velocity is also zero so we have V1 squared all over 2G plus P1 over gamma plus Z1 is uh, plus yung uh, HA yung uh, pump natin that's what, that's what we are solving to solve for the horsepower that should be equal to v2 squared all over 2g plus p2 over gamma plus z2 plus uh, head head loss due to friction 
plus yung total minor losses. Ayan. So, as I mentioned a while ago, V1 is 0, V2 is also 0. P1 and P2 are the same. If we put J1 to be our datum, then J1 is also equal to 0. So, we're left with this equation. H M. Uh, by the way, uh, Z, hindi pala Z, uh, Z1 is actually uh, given pala yung Z1, I'm sorry. Z1 is at 20 feet. Or pwede namang yun ang datum natin. Ano? Sige, yun na lang. If our datum is at uh, 0.1, then Z1 is 0. Yun na na-mention ko kanina. <laughs> so what is Z2 then? Z2 is the difference in elevation between uh, Z2 and Z1 uh, point 0.2 and point 0.1 I should say so HA is equal to Z2 again if if 1 is our point 0.1 is our datum then we should subtract the elevation of point 0.1 dito sa my point 0.2 since ang datum natin ay yung point 0.1 so Z2 then yung uh, Elevation ng point 2 natin is 100 uh, feet plus yung frictional loss from 1 to 2 that is 67.6447 feet plus yung total minor losses natin na 15.9194 uh, feet. So we have... Uh, the the head in the pump yes. go ahead okay so ha is equal to 183.5641 feet that's the required head or energy head in the pump then we solve for the required power in the pump okay. power is equal to q gamma H A. Uh, the discharge is discharge kanina na erase ko na. Uh, point two pala. Zero point two cubic feet per second <laughs> times the unit weight of water at sixty two point four pounds per cubic foot times the head in the pump one eight three point six four one feet so we're left with some cancel yung uh, cubic feet cubic feet jan we're left with foot pound per second which is a unit for uh, power no? so we have two two nine zero point eight eight foot pound per second but I think that the problem requires us to solve it in uh, horsepower so convert that into sa horsepower so in one horsepower we have 550 foot pound per second so the required power in the pump to drive is equal to so the power is in horsepower that is 4.165 horsepower okay so that's it that's the application that's how we solve for the minor losses frictional losses include that in the uh, analysis of piping uh, systems okay so that's uh, the end see you sa next uh, chapter